Today, I'm going to be showing you how to add custom navigation buttons into Visu Plus Express. Right now, I have a new project open with three basic screens, and I've named them Lighting, Machine, and Tank, and I've added images onto each of them just to make it a little bit easier to tell which one we're on when we begin navigating a little bit later. We're going to start on the lighting screen, and the first step is to add three push buttons to the screen. So we're going to come over to our toolbox, and under basic controls, we can expand that. And the third one down is push button. We're going to click and drag three of these push buttons onto the screen. We can line them up right here on the right hand side. And then we can click and drag them to position them a little bit nicer. So once we have our push buttons in place, we can put a name on each of them so we know which screen which button is going to take us to. So if we double click on the button, it's going to open up the properties and under general about halfway down you see object title or the first button we're going to call lighting. We can come down below that under fonts and on title font double click and we can make that a bold font and bump it up to size 12 font to make it a little bit more visible. We hit OK, and now that we've added our title and changed our font, we can come up to the green check mark and apply those changes. We're going to do the same for button 2. Go into Properties for Object Title. We're going to call this one Machine. Down to Title Font, double click, and we're going to make it bold, size 12. We hit OK, made our changes, and we apply them with the green check mark. And lastly, the third button, we double click, object title, we're going to make this one tank, come down to the title font with a double click, change it to bold, bump it up to size 12, hit OK. You can see the font change has been made, the tank title is in. We hit the green check button and we have applied these three. <clears throat> now that we have the three buttons that are properly labeled, we have to add a command to each button to tell it to take it to a different screen. So we're going to start out with the first button, which is the lighting screen. So we're going to double click again to open the properties back up. And if you see up at the top under execution, we have commands on release. If we double click on that, it's going to bring up our command list. Once we're in this, we can come up and add a new command. And there's a bunch of tabs up here. The one we're going to want to come to is screen. And then the first thing in this screen page is screen. If we highlight that, we see on the far hand right side it brought up those three dots again. We can click on those three dots and it gives us the opportunity to highlight which screen we'd like to take us to. And since this is lighting, we're going to highlight the lighting screen. We hit OK, we hit OK again, and one more time we hit OK. Now we're brought back into our properties and you see next to commands and release it now says screen and then it has the open normal lighting. If you see when I highlight it over, you can see that lighting is the screen that we've chosen. So we go to our green check mark button and apply that. Now we're going to do the same thing for machine. Double click, commands on release, double click, new command, screen tab, highlight the screen property, click the three small dots on the right hand side, this is the machine button for the machine screen, so we choose the machine screen. Hit OK, OK, and OK one last time. Now we can see that if we highlight over it, it says open normal and the machine screen. And we make our changes with the green check mark. And one last time we come down to the tank, double click, double click on commands on release, new command, click on the screen tab, and then highlight the screen property. Click on the three dots on the right hand side and this is our tank button so we're going to choose the tank screen. Click OK, OK, one last OK and now if we check commands and release we see highlighting over it screen open normal tank so we know we have the proper tank screen and we hit our green check mark to apply our changes. So now we have these three buttons to navigate three different screens on our lighting screen, but they don't show up on our machine and tank screen. To get them over there, it's very simple. We're going to hold down the control button on our keyboard and click on lighting 
machine, and tank, and that's going to select all three, and then we're going to right click on one of the three, and copy, and now if we come to the machine tab, we can right click, paste, the tank screen, right click, and paste. Now this copy and paste method, and you see here now it's on all three screens, this copy and paste method keeps the commands with it, so we are ready to go now. If we come up into our simulation mode and enter it, save our changes, hit OK, and now that we're in the lighting screen, we click on machine, takes us there, we click on tank, takes us there, back to lighting, to tank, to machine, you see now that we have these custom navigation buttons <clears throat> that you can click on instead of clicking through the, the smaller screens at the bottom. These navigation buttons can be placed anywhere, made any size, say anything, and take you anywhere you would like. So we're going to come up here and exit out of our project. And that is how to create custom navigation buttons in Vigi Plus Express.